video about the Starship and a potential new way to get rid of the heat tiles on the Starship. There's been a, a lot of talk over the years about a Black Knight satellite. And there's a new video I saw recently by John Lear where he talks about how the, how the satellite works. So if we were to apply it to the Starship, we would see that it would need to, for the tail to either hinge up or hinge down and create drag. And then it would float from side to side as it comes down into the atmosphere like a leaf. And maybe, you know, the, we're gonna have drag on the, the tail. And then instead of using the heat towels, it wouldn't come in at thousands of miles an hour. It'd come in at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And then it would make the, I don't know if we would put a hinge here or a different configuration for the Starship. And it would allow it to, to float down into the atmosphere rather than to fly in at a high, hot temperature. So a lot of the moons uh, in our solar system don't have an atmosphere. So we wouldn't use this configuration to land. But in, in places where there are atmospheres, we would definitely use this type of drag configuration. And, and on those moons and on those planets, uh, on the moons where there is no atmosphere, uh, we still wouldn't need a heat tile because uh, the heat tiles are to slow down in the atmosphere. There would be no atmosphere to create the heat on the starship so we could still land on the moon. And if there is no atmosphere on the moon, we could still land on the moon and the other moons in our solar system. So that's the summary. So again, we have like a tail hinge that would be implementing so that the, the, the tail could uh, create drag as it falls in the atmosphere. Here's a video by John Lear where he talks about the Black Knight satellite. And I'm not going to show the video, but you can check it out. I put it on Twitter also and also on the YouTube. There's a lot of uh, information out there about dethermalization is what John Lear talks about. Dethermalization. And I will showcase some of those images. It's a very... Uh, old it's been uh research for a long time what is dethermalization and what kind of techniques can be used to 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 cool off different things whether it's electrical or physical this is just one of many articles you can search google or duckduckgo or wherever you do your searching search for the term dethermalization is what john lear mentioned that's that's the big name that's the key term so again, we're talking about as the rocket re-enters, instead of skipping off the atmosphere and slowing down with a lot of heat, we're talking about it uh, floating like a leaf sideways and, and coming into the atmosphere. So these are some of the images of the Black Knight satellite that have been uh, reportedly captured over the years. And I have selected a few of these to do some close-up images of. You can search for Black Knight satellite. This is one image of it. There is another image that I like. So this image here, basically they're uh, maneuvering the tail. Apparently a, a rocket launches, into, launches up, this ship flies out, it goes from space station to space station, it picks up stuff, a lot of these military space stations up there in space, uh, secret, and then this comes down like a leaf into the atmosphere and it floats back and forth. So I don't know if, if this section uh, folds over or, or, or maybe it, like a leaf, maybe it's the two halves, but um, maybe the Starship could adapt some of this uh, uh, form, some of this uh, body structure so that it too can come into the atmosphere without needing heat tiles. I have some of the images loaded up here. This is uh, for dethermalization, talking about uh, uh, the tail and how it could maybe be implemented. This might be the, the tail of a, a plane. Here's a, some information from UCLA talking about uh, velocity and mass um, in relation to gravity. 
I'm not sure if these relate to the dethermalization that we're talking about here, but you know, there's a good chance that it might. So that's what I have for images. I do have a few more. Here we go. So this is the, the big concept. The Starship launches up into space. It doesn't need heat tiles to launch. It just needs the heat tiles when it's coming into the atmosphere at, at a high speed. Just like the, the space shuttle needed uh, heat tiles on the belly. Uh, the space shuttle needed heat tiles and now the Starship is using heat towels. Uh, they're planning to, you know. Uh, but uh, a change in their descent structure could uh, alleviate the need for heat towels and make entry into the atmosphere much more comfortable. So again, that versus this is what we're looking at here. How do we make the starship more like this so it can swing back and forth in the atmosphere as it comes down with gravity and lands? That's the big news here for this show. Um, Ocean Camera Space Corp, Paul S. Mamakos here. Looking forward to the, making the next video and doing a lot more research and having more and more fun. Catch you on the next video.